Today was our fourth day in a row with a high in the 90s, our fifth overall this month, and we're probably going to do it again tomorrow. We've got some clouds moving through the area now. A few spotty showers possible here and there. Those chances decrease as we go through the overnight hours. And then, as I said, we do it again as we move into Tuesday, starting the day mild. Afternoon clouds, few spotty showers, not out of the question, though most locations end up staying dry. And again on Wednesday, we start out that way, but then the pattern begins to change. We've had this big ridge of high pressure and control of our forecast for about the last week now. However, it's going to start to break down, and that begins with the erosion of the northern edge. So what that's going to do is allow some showers and storms to come a little further south through Kentucky on Wednesday afternoon and evening. Best rain chances would be for our southern Kentucky counties. It kind of still up in the air right now whether East Tennessee will get to see any of that rain, but the bottom line is the change begins on Wednesday and then we start to see the effects of it as we go into Thursday and into the end of the week and next weekend. So for tonight, another mild night with those lows in the upper 60s for the day tomorrow. Highs back in the low 90s, a few spotty showers and storms again, not out of the question, but most folks stay dry with a mix of clouds and sun out there and there's your seven day forecast warm again Wednesday watching the evening hours. Check back for updates to that. On Thursday, we're right back around 90 degrees with a weak frontal boundary limping into the region. And then as we go into Friday and next weekend, we're back to only about five degrees above average in the mid 80s each day.